Hi, this is Brian with Amazon Web Services. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through AWS Session Manager, a component of AWS Systems Manager, a tool for managing servers at scale. What Session Manager allows us to do is remote in and manage our servers all without running RDP or SSH. Let me show you what it looks like first, then we'll go into some more details. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is let's go into the AWS console and we'll click on services and bring up systems manager. Now once systems manager is up, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on session manager. So session manager, we wanna look at preferences first. And in here, let's edit this so we can show the whole preferences. We're gonna use an S3 bucket of logs. And then session manager is our folder that I've got inside that log file. Next, we're gonna look at CloudWatch logs and choose the SSM log file that I've created there. Next, let's go start a session. So I'll choose a Linux instance first here, and we'll start a session. It brings up another browser window where I've got a full bash shell interface to run commands. And here we exited who am I? We see that that's SSM user. Next, I wanna do a uh, disk listing to show the size of the disk in the free space. Next, let's look at the IP addresses with an IF config. And next, let's look at all the processes. So we can do anything from here, we're full admin. Let's switch over and let's bring up a Windows session. So we'll start a session again. And in this case, I'm gonna pick a Windows instance instead. As we start this session, what will happen is we'll get another browser window brought up. Uh, we have a session in with PowerShell. I run who am I? And we see SSM-user again. I can do the exact same types of commands. I can get disk to see you know, what disks are available. It's a 30 gig disk. I, if I want some free space, I could do a get PS drive to get free space or run other scripts that can get that. Um, I can also list the network st stack here with IP config. And I can get the other things such as uh, all the uh, processes running. And so I've gotten the same information on both type of things, but I'm admin or root on both. Now let's go take a look at, uh, I've got both sessions running. I can see that they're both up and running right now. Next we look at history. And if I look at history, I can click on the S3 bucket information. And so this is what that bring, looks like. I bring up my bucket, I download the file, and I open this file and we can see the transcript of the entire session. So we see not only the commands I entered, but the responses to those commands. We can get that same information. Uh, let's go back and let's look at the CloudWatch logs. Um, so I can get uh, complete information about everything that's done, which is something we don't get when we let regularly let RDP or uh, SSH in. So here we've got the S3 bucket, which we looked at already. Let's click on CloudWatch logs and go look at the CloudWatch logs for that same uh, uh, information. So we click on that CloudWatch and all of this information will list exactly like it was in the previous log file. Now we don't have to use both log files, we can use one or the other. But that's what we have with Session Manager. Okay, so what I just showed you was remoting into a Linux box with a uh, Bash shell prompt and remoting into the Windows machine with a PowerShell prompt to do management of those servers. Session Manager raises a security bar in a few areas. The first area is that there's no ports open for hackers to hack at and try to log in. Uh, the second area is that it uses role-based access control to give access for people to remote in and in the third area, it logs everything that we've done. And so it raises the bar of security as well as gives us a great way to easily log into our servers and manage them. So that's AWS Session Manager. Thanks for watching.